right. Well, what if you have a problem where you have a, a concentration that's being diluted more than once? So you have a solution with a concentration of 20%, and it is diluted 1 to 10, and then again by 1 to 10. And then they want us to find the, con the final concentration. Well, if we just break it down and look, take it one step at a time. So we're going to take this 20% solution and dilute it 1 to 10. So how do we find the new concentration? Well, we just take our 20% times our dilution will give us our new concentration. So 20% of the 1 tenth is going to be our new concentration, which gives me 20 over 10 percent, which is just 2 percent. So that's in the first dilution. Um, and now we're going to take this 2% and dilute it by 1 to 10 again. So again, we can find our new concentration, 2% of 1 tenth of our solution. So 2% times 1 tenth is going to be our new concentration. So this is the second dilution. All right, so 2%. So two tenths percent, which if we, we can write that as a decimal, 0 0.2 percent. And there we have it. That is our concentration after our second dilution. So all we did was take it one step at a time, treat the first dilution just like we would normally um, in, it, in the other problems that we've done, and then take whatever we got for that, because that's the con new concentration that we're going to be working with, and plug that in and treat the problem that treat the second dilution problem just like we would any dilution prop or the easier dilution problems that we were working on. And then we calculate that and that gives us our final concentration after going through multiple dilutions.